Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I really should have added this to the, the number part one video of this. With the Navigator tool, if you if you click on it down here and hold it, and you move it around, or you can hit the N, like in Nancy, and it'll put it more in the center of the page, and then you can move around, and then when you click on it with your left mouse button, it goes away, so just hit the N button, and of course, you'd want to zoom in. Let's do zoom in quite a bit. I could have just hit Z. Let's zoom in a little bit. And now let's hit the N key. And see, we're, it's so fast. I, I very seldom ever use it, but it can be hip, uh, very helpful when you're making a map or a lake chart like I make because there's so many little places you really need to look at. And then when you want to get rid of it, just tap your left mouse button. Then you could actually click off of it and zoom in more. And let's do this again. Let's pick this spot right here. Let's hit the N key and then right. I mean, look at a little bit of mouse movement. Like before, we can go to the E, the K, the lake, you know, the town, the latitude, longitude, or way out here if I want to look at this part of the lake, which I do. And I would take that and I would let go of it. And I would really want that lake part of the lake to be more of a curve. So I just take my handles of my, um, off my mouse and make it a little bit of a curve. So that's the end key. Anytime you're using anything, you can hit the end key and you'll, you can scroll to wherever you want to really kind of look at things. But because it's zoomed in, you really can't go left or right because it's, it's taking up the whole screen. So let's click off of it. Now let's zoom in. Let's zoom in not so far this time and hit the end key. And see, now I can go left and right because I'm not, you can see the box that it's encompassing it off and out, out of the work page and inside the work page. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.